This is Dabu7, an update to the Yellowstone Supervolcano. We have once again a swarm kicking up in this area. And as you can see, we have a decent quake striking right off the coast of the Oregon California state line. Shallow, you can see right there, off the coast right there. And you can see here, West Yellowstone. Once again, seeing a swarm of earthquake activity. You can see here, they're kind of spread out. That was a 2.94, 1.9, 3.9. Four, three. So decent sized quakes picking back up in this area. Normal ones and twos, we can say, are in the normal range. But when you start to get to the three, close to four range, and it starts to become more common, we have to pay attention to what's going on. Now, the last area was in an area of known fault activity, but not all these areas are. Now, if we take a look over here, the USGS has just released a map showing movement around the caldera between 2015 and 2017 and they're saying they used radar images collecting all this data in this time the ground around Norris Geyser Basin rose by just under three inches while there was a down dropping of the earth within the Yellowstone caldera now if you look here at this map you can see one of the last quake swarms here, Norris. This is the dotted line of the caldera. You can see it right here, the caldera boundary. And this is where they're seeing a lot of movement. Okay? So let's pay attention to this because here's movement. And then all of a sudden you get this big bullseye ring. Just so happens the roads converge right there in the middle of that Norris Geyser Basin it's seeing movement as well we had the quake swarms here and quakes popping over into this region so last time when I put the alert out I stated that you should pay attention to the quakes heading toward the caldera now where that arrow is it says recent earthquake swarm right there that's not the most recent that I just showed you but one of the spots is. But that line right there is representing a fault that it's touching. So that's an, a known fault area. The other spots aren't hitting on that fault area. So when we start to see earthquakes very shallow, picking up and then moving toward Norris Geyser Basin. And just a couple years ago, we had witnessed what started as an earthquake swarm started to move in Africa east to Atreo. They're very shallow and they were headed toward a volcano, I noticed. So I put a video out, I warned about it. Sure enough, a little bit later, decent earthquake hit right on the caldera and it blew. So sometimes the earthquake swarms can show you that there's magma on the move underground. And if, if we ever start to see this shifting toward Norris Geyser Basin and the caldera, that's when I would say really start paying attention to this area. I mean, you always want to pay attention to the area, but I mean, start exercising extreme caution when the quakes start picking up in Norris Geyser Basin now. In really any area of the caldera, you start to see bigger quakes pick up. It's definitely something going on. And if it's not associated with fault activity, it's definitely connected to the volcano having some movement. So just an update here. Wanted to share the map and let it be known what's going on here in terms of movement. So a lot more info here at the link. I'll leave it below. I'll continue to update on things as things change. This has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.